In summary, we have, again, we have four forces that we'll be considering in this um, section or in this um, course, we have normal force. Again, it should act perpendicular to the surface. Frictional force, it opposes the tendency of object's motion um, or it also opposes relative motion. Um, tension, which is uh, the one that's uh, where the force is flowing on the string or a rope or a cable. And then we have weight that's a long range or non-contact force that acts um, downward or always down, downward with respect to the object. Okay, it's the force exerted by Earth on the object. And then, again, our, um, we have our notion of superposition of forces and the difference between mass and weight. Mass is always constant. Weight will depend on the location where the where the object is or where the particle is. And then finally, we have our Newton's first law of motion that is unless there's a force acted upon an object, um, that object will either be at rest if it started at rest or will be in motion if it started in motion. And then finally, we have inertial reference frames where an, any object, um, uh, this is a reference frame where the uh, where it's not accelerated and therefore Newton's first law will be valid. Okay, questions? So, questions, may tanong pa ba? So, if there are no more questions, if there are no more questions, so um, that ends our discussion for lecture nine. Next time we will be discussing Newton's second law and third law, and we will discuss our notion of what's a free body diagram. So do natin pag-uusapan yung mga free body diagrams because um, it invokes the principles of Newton's second law and third law. Okay, so may mga tanong pa ba? Wala. Na, sir. Thank you very much for um, attending this session. And for those who are watching on YouTube, um, thank you very much for watching this video. And I see you all maybe tomorrow. Bye-bye.